Let the puncher do that. You box. With the small ring, Donald moves Come twice on, and he's, his back is at the rope. Bo is able to stop and hit him back. With a bigger ring, bigger ring, he, should, he can move twice and be out of the way. Now Larry Donald stands his ground and throws his best combination of the fight. And Riddick Poe comes forward with that sweeping roundhouse right. Why doesn't he throw straight right hands? Well, you know, they, uh, he is not the best finish fighter. He's got a good power. And he has in his repertoire a good straight right hand. He just have to finish himself up enough to do that. His left hook is by far his best punch, I believe. His right hand has always been uh, iffy. Sometimes it does, more often it doesn't. It's the left and the left hook, the left jab and hook. Better punch has always been below the belt. There's a right hand that did some damage. Larry Donald gets a little counter punch action going there. Now, Donald has to understand, when you land a few punches, get backwards. Don't go forward. Make him follow you those extra steps to the next corner. Those last two times, Bo straightened up the right cross just a little bit. Donald tries the right-hand lead, but weakly and lamely over the top. Whenever a fighter gets into the ring, you count your steps over and over. How many steps backwards before my back is to the corner? to the ring, the rope. Then you hit and take those steps over and over and let him walk to you. How many fighters do you think remember to do that? Today? We have signs that haven't been, no one teaches it much anyway. In in I want you to step back a little bit and throw your punches up, Bo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, first round, first part of the round, right? Yeah. Give me a half of it. Give me a half a round of speed. Okay. Pick up the speed and then get away and get your legs going. All right, let's take a look at Bo as he lands a couple of punches in there. That was not a real crisp punch, but it it did land it. That's the best stuff from Donald so far, which says too much about him. Later in the round, Bo came back with a good chopping right hand. I got it. Not Pete. I got it. Come Come on. Round five begins. Harold Letterman, quickly your score so far. Larry, four nothing, forty to thirty-six. Riddick Bow. From the day that you become a boxing judge, that's the first question I ask. If the guys land the fifty jabs or guys land the two hooks, who wins the round? And the answer is, is the guy that wins the round is the guy that's doing more damage. And in this fight, in each and every round, Riddick Bow has done more damage than Larry Donald. I scored the first round even. The last three for Bow. That was a good right hand by Donald. Good right hand. And he brought a left hand behind it, but he's done nothing to dissuade Rick. Good left jab by Donald. Forward, yep. Landed the left jab right on the kisser, didn't he? He's got to understand, land those punches and take five steps backwards in any direction. Well, you said he could do some damage if he could make Bo come to him. He certainly isn't going to Bo. Bo fouls over the rope when he has to go forward. Always got to understand to beat this young man to the punch. You just can't wait on him. Go before he goes. So Donald should keep backing up, counter, and step away when he reaches the rope. And Bo should beat him to the punch. Don't wait on him. You give him more confidence. The next thing you know, you're out there in the sixth round, and this kid is jabbing you in a little more. Donald still with his mouth wide open. There's a quick combo inside by Donald. Part of the crowd starting to chant, Larry, Larry, Larry. Good right hand, the bounce of the night. And another solid right hand by Donald, two in a row. Hey, hey, hey. Now he should step backwards. See, Bo, Bo is hurt, but don't try to finish him. Don't try to finish him. Why not, George? Because he may not get another chance. He's making him come forward and connect him. He's just not going to him getting, the, getting these things out. It's when Bo come forward.
And Bo should not wait. Wait to be hit. Well, Bo seems to have lost a little bit of his fire in this round. When Bo steps forward, he waits for his right foot to catch up with the left. So you get that timing. He's not going to do anything until his right foot catches up with his left foot. Don should pay attention to these kind of things. Don the supporters in the crowd hey, cheering hey, as Bo clumsily flailed across into the ropes. Rick Bo's timing is not going to get any better. He should stay closer to Donald. Keep this jab into his stomach and chest. Well, the Larry Donald his supporters might have hoped to see shows up in the latter half of round five. And after that round, Riddick Bo looked at him as if to say, where did that come from? Got him throw the right hand off the cat. Stand around. I want you to keep dabbing. When you, you beat this man, you kept in, and the jab is always there. You keep hating and keep moving in and keep dabbing. Don't stop. Don't stop. When you stop, you get this is the round of young Larry Donald's life, and maybe at that point, the punch of his life, because it changed the course of that round. Suddenly, Riddick Bowe had a little bit more respect for him. a prime time round, George. It was, and Donald came out with a left hook, I mean a left jab to the body. That's strange. He's got courageous. Suddenly in round five, by punch stat numbers, Larry Donald landed 18 of 31 punches, many of them power punches. He's watched Bo for signs of fatigue. Remember, George, he's only been in the ring for a real fight, four rounds in the past 13 months. He's only fought two quality opponents. That was Evander Holyfield twice. This kid is quality. Not as strong because he hasn't had a whole lot of uh, experience, but he is quality. A terrific combination, finished with a good right hand, and then he did what you said, George. He got out of there or held on. Bo is still trying to wait until his right foot catch up to throw a punch. Suddenly, Donald looks so much more confident in there, so much more aware of what's going on. Good body punch by Riddick Bo. That right to the body hurt. Bo hasn't forgotten completely about the prospect of winning the fight by decision. Right, he seems to be simply walking around here thinking of setting up Donald for a knockout, and that may allow Donald to turn the fight around. What I gotta do is to be comfortable. I'm gonna get him sooner or later. He's too young. He's not strong. Before you do it, Before you know it that's what's happening, right? And then you say to yourself, like the old Muhammad Ali's days. That didn't oh, hurt. Hit on the break. Come on, because it doesn't, but it takes its toll. Now Donald has gotten smart. He turns his left shoulder forward when Bo throws his overhand right. Out of the way, he's in safety zone. Only if Bo comes back with a left hook or fake the right hand and throw a left hook, can he get him. That chance, Larry, Larry, Larry resurrected from 1978 and 79 when Larry Holmes in this ring, in this arena, got his split decision against Ken Norton. What a great fight that was. And his 11th round knockout of Ernie Shavers. Larry Donald, like Larry Holmes, here to rely on his jab. And now Riddick though, begins to play into Larry Donald's hand. Two 
big, too big. Okay. Go at right hand to the body and come back with the left foot there. Okay. And you got a jab for it. When you get within reach of this guy's jab, yeah, keep jabbing, make it okay. clear. Here's the combination that may have won the round for Larry Donald. Another angle. The left hand followed by two punches to the body. Bo doesn't know what to make of this kid at this moment. Don't let him rest. I told you this double made me feel the same way. But as round seven begins, a Larry Donald earlier described by Larry Merchant, and I thought accurately so at the time, as not ready for prime time, is clearly in the fight.